Hello, I'm back, and this video is to all the Sony fans who refuse to talk about how Sony is doing. I'm gonna talk about it. Now, I'm not a major Sony fan, but I do prefer having them be my system for multi-plats, um, for multi-plats that don't come to Nintendo's uh, system. So, in that regard, you know, that I don't wanna see Sony go under, but it's time to get real, okay? Now, as the title of this video will say, Sony is not fine. And after the cut, uh, the header for the cut, you'll see just how badly Sony is doing. I will leave a link to the Player Essence article and the original Bloomberg Business uh, Internet Journal article as well in the description feed. <sighs> Sony is not fine, too. Okay, I'm back. It's time to get down to it. Um, recently, I read an article that basically says that Sony is still projecting a $1.1 billion loss this year. And um, they're firing 5,000 people on top of the 10,000 that they're already in the process of firing right now. Now, what does this mean? It means that Sony is not fine, okay? Now, why do I say this? Um, Sony can't afford to mess up anymore. Plus, to be perfectly frank, Sony has essentially painted themselves into a corner, okay? For years, like, I remember when Sony was like the, one of the premier, um, electronics de uh, makers, like developers. Like, you know, you had a Sony boombox, you had a Sony Walkman, you had a Sony sound system, you had a Sony TV, Sony, 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 Sony record player. Now, Sony has lost that, that, that edge, okay? Their products are overpriced, underpowered, glitchy. Not their, their, t not their, um, their systems, but like uh, the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, well, the jury's still out on PlayStation 4, but, um, you know, but, I mean, a lot of their um, TV sound systems, I mean, they aren't, they, they aren't of high enough quality to justify the price tag that they're putting on. Like, I've said this in previous um, videos that I literally can buy a Sony television. I literally can buy a Samsung or LG TV that does the same things that Sony is charging me a shitload for, for $400, $500 cheaper. Like a Sony TV might be $2,000, um, a 60 by 50 something inch TV. And literally, like, Sony's charging me $2,000 plus, uh, whatever feet okay I can get the same thing from LG for literally 1400 1300 1200 if it's on sale that is that is that is not smart okay they're going to sell Sony is going to sell their um, Vio computer um, division I'm gonna let you in on a little secret about the Vio computer it's a piece of shit okay now, not, I mean, it does what a computer should do, but here's the problem with the Vio um, computer line, all of them, okay? They're overpriced, and the price does not equal the performance, okay? Like, okay, if someone says they have a gaming laptop and it's $2,000, I'm gonna say, okay, who makes it? If it's made from a company that's really good, then I'm gonna say, well, that makes sense that it's $2,000, because this thing is future-proof for the next two or three generations of games so you know with diminishing returns so you'll be able to play this gens and next and this year and next year and maybe the year after that the next three years of games coming out you'll be able to play on high settings the next generation of games after that you'll be able to play on medium high settings the generation after that medium or low right that's the diminishing returns of a computer that you're not upgrading right well I mean the Vio is really expensive doesn't give you any of those benefits. 
I mean, Sony basically overhypes themselves. Um, you know, to be perfectly frank, I'll give you an example of how Sony works, okay? Sony crams a lot of technology into their products. Expensive, unproven in some cases technology in order to win the format so they can get their other shit in your house, okay? So their DVDs, their CDs, their proprietary technology, right? But it does it, it's not working anymore because there's other alternatives. Like, you know, Nintendo is a little bit different. Nintendo basically uses withered technology. Old, time-tested, proven technology. And they use it in new and interesting ways. But it's cheap, okay? It's cheap to produce. It's cheap to use. It's not going to cost an arm and a leg. So that's why their systems don't cost an arm and a leg, okay? That's just the way it is. Now, that being said, um, Nintendo systems are always more powerful than people initially think. If you don't believe me, um, just take my word on it. I, have, I had a friend in college who had a Beast gaming laptop, and his Beast gaming laptop, and this was six, seven years ago, his Beast gaming laptop still had difficulties playing N64 GameCube games. PlayStation? No problem. PS2? No problem. N64 GameCube games? Because of that proprietary format and just, you know, it's the way the parts in the system work together. It's got more power than you think, okay? It's like those little low-rider shitty Toyota uh, Matrixes or something like that. It, like, it looks like, eh, this little rinky-dick car, but those little things are zippy as hell. But back to Sony. Sony basically is in trouble. And no one reports on it. IGN, oh, Sony, the PS4 is doing fine. Sony lost in sub -tub. Sony lost a little bit of money, and we won't talk about it. Sony is in trouble, okay? And even 1.1 yen, I'm a bit suspect about, because Sony likes to bury shit in numbers. For example, the PS Vita is not doing fine right now. Sony won't show the sales numbers because they combine it with the PSP. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. No one is fucking buying a PSP right now. <laughs> no one. No one. The only reason someone would buy a PSP is so that they can hack it and play other shit on it. <laughs> like they did initially. I mean, you know, Jesus. So they bury those numbers together to hide the fact that the PS Vita is not doing well. As a matter of fact, I don't know why Sony made the PS Vita. I I have no idea. I, I don't know. I They should have just stuck with the PSP. They should have came out with a more robust version of the PSP and called it a day. But instead, they were like, we want that money. I don't know. But that's Sony for you. Sony is not fine. And anyone who tells you that they are fine has a has their head so far up their ass they don't even know what day it is <sighs> hopefully the sony drones excuse me the sony drones and fanboys will wake up and see that sony is not fine sony needs an intervention sony needs a major intervention first of all the people at the top need to take an 80 percent pay cut they need to be getting paid like at the most two million dollars a year not the hundred and fifty and eighty five million dollars a year they make because they've been running the company into the ground for the last nine to eight years I mean you don't you don't get I mean like here's the thing Nintendo has not been um, as profitable as they would like they've, they've had operating losses for the last three years that's three years the first year was uh, the R&D for the Wii U. The second year was no. The first year was uh, that 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 hit that um, they took for the 3DS. The second year was the Wii U. This year is the Wii U yet again. That's but that's just three fucking years. The PS3 wasn't profitable until Sony sold their U.S. headquarters and they sold uh, two of their IPs to Activision. Think about that. Not the U.S. headquarters, but they sold two of their IPs to Activision. And then claimed, it's profitable now, which is bullshit. It's like someone saying, it's like me saying, oh, uh, my bar slash arcades um, 
or in the red, I'm going to sell half of my arcade machines and then I'm, I'm, I'm making a profit for that short period of time. But I mean, they can't, you can't, you can play hide the, uh, you can hide the numbers by burying them in other numbers as much as you want. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the bottom line is Sony is losing shit tons of money. And until they have an intervention where they stop trying to shove expensive technology, they need to come out with more affordable choices, okay? Okay, that's what the Walkman, so when Sony started out, they had affordable choices. The Walkman was like, Initially, it was kind of expensive, but after about a year or two, it was like $19.99, 10 bucks. You get a cheap Walkman, no problem. I don't know when Sony became this, this, you're all pay it or else bastards, but <sighs> that's what they are now. This has been Sony is not fine, too.